All right, what's up, y'all? So let me, boo, not so much focus, but let me lift that. All right, <clears throat> so this video, as you can tell down there by the uh, title of it, is something that I know that there's over a thousand different videos, and it's all the same thing. But I haven't done a video on it yet, so I figured why not? <coughs> uh, it's basic stuff, real simple. Make sure you watch it until the end. Give me one second and we'll get right into it. So first and foremost, you're going to need a three-tier system or three-door system, whatever. Um, this works for superworms as well as the mealworms. However, you can't use this for superworms. Trust me, I tried it. They get out. It's not fun trying to catch uh, superworms. <coughs> first... You're going to have to disassemble this, obviously, which is not super hard. All right, maybe I spoke a little too soon, guys. All right. And that's with this one anyways. You might be able to pull them out of a uh, cheaper version. This is the Stir yeah, Sterlite. So it has a stop on it where you can't pull them out any further than that. Once you disassemble it, you can take that apart. You're going to want to, I'm not sure if you guys can really see underneath there. So there's that hole that I cut out and I got that uh, covered up with mesh or screen, whatever you want to call it. Anything will do basically. Um, you want to super glue it or uh, hot glue. I use super glue. That's where you're going to want to keep your beetles. And they will not turn into beetles unless you actually, um, I don't know if it's going to really focus for you guys, unless you separate them. So you have to separate them from the worm state or at the worm state from each other so they can pupate and then turn into the beetles. Otherwise, you'll just have uh, worms until they all die. Now... The eggs will get caught in the second tote or second drawer. Once they get big enough, you want to put them in the third drawer. They can spend out their life in the third drawer if you want them to. You can put them in a different uh, setup if you want to, whatever. Um, and then the eggs will continuously drop through here. Right now I actually have babies in both drawers that basically just came out the eggs not really sure you guys will be able to see this on camera if I can try to focus it. Alright, so those are all little tiny babies. Obviously, they're a little bit bigger than a uh, ballpoint pen, but not much bigger. Make sure they're all out of there. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanted the worms to live longer, you can refrigerate them and that'll work. You can even, uh, you know, get a whole bunch of them, put them in the fridge. It kind of gives them, uh, not so much gives them, it kind of puts them in a dormancy state. And it, it, it's super easy to take care of them. You don't have to give them much. Obviously, I got carrots in here. They love the carrots. But the substrate, bedding, whatever you want to call it, could be anything from wheat, oatmeal, whatever in mine i have a mixture of breadcrumbs different organic seasonings and uh there's even rice in here different grains but they love it obviously i'm doing something right got babies so uh that's pretty much it guys boom okay so like i said in the beginning i'm sure you guys have seen that numerous times but there's always new people getting into the hobby that just might not know. So that's why I did a video myself. I apologize again for the shakiness. I had to hold it. Ooh, excuse me. I had to hold the phone because I didn't have a mount that would actually be able to get you that close to see the little baby worms. But that's basically it, guys. Um... Make sure you follow us on Facebook at Grizzlies Exotics. 
that's basically uh, where I do most of my business. But <clears throat> I need subscribers. I need y'all's support. I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers that I've already gained. But don't stop now, guys. Continue to share my videos. Continue to like my videos. And continue to watch my videos. It means the world to me. If you guys ever want to get in touch with me, make sure you message me on Facebook again at Grizzlies Exotics, and I'll be sure to get back with you guys as soon as possible. But in the meantime, that video right there is my last upload. The video right there is the video that YouTube thinks is best for you. And if you guys would, just go ahead and click this little icon button right here, and that'll subscribe you to my channel if you haven't already. All right, y'all. Take care.